So it's been 30 years since Steve Ball joined Wolverhampton Wanderers. We've dipped into the Express and Star archive to pick out some classic picks from Bully's time at Molyneux, some of which feature in his new book, Bully Forever Wolves, which is out now. We pop round to see the great man to talk him through some of those pictures and take a bit of a nostalgic trip down memory lane. Right, here we go. This this, this is this is uh, quite an iconic one, actually. You with Nigel Spink. That one there. That's, I, think that's in the, I think that's in the League Cup. I think it was. Back was, in the 80s. Uh, was that one each? I yeah, that one each. Uh, I think a bit of Park, was it? The flat, uh, yeah. I think I went in for a ball that uh, I shouldn't have gone in for. Yeah, it's and, not like uh, you. It's not like <laughs> me, is it? But uh, he, he, got me down, he got me more or less pinned down, to be fair. I thought, I'm going to put me on there. I said, go on, if you want to have a go, I'll have a go. Uh, but it never spoiled, never spoiled. And... Uh, it was a cracking atmosphere, cracking game. It was a good time, wasn't it? You had the one where you got knocked out at Molyneux, didn't you? Yeah, he was the same bloke who did it. And that's what I wanted to get him back. That's what I wanted to get him back. No, I went up for the ball, for a header. The ball came over. You went wallop. Hit me straight in the temple. Knocked me over. And that was it. And uh, the doc came on. Smell this. How many fingers? Off you go. Yeah, yeah. Carry on playing again. Yeah. And uh, it was uh, yeah, two good games, it was. Two good games. The nice one here were you and Muchy. I mean, there'll be loads of these from over the years, but... Uh... What a partnership! What can we say? Yeah, unsung hero. You know, me and Mutti you don't look too pleased. No, does it? Does it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he scored or he'd been left out the side or what yeah. had happened. But uh, you know, I just console him just more or less saying, yeah, we're together. Yeah, we're in this together. And uh, we was, you know, what I mean, and uh, we knew we on the pitch where we was. And uh, we had a great, we had a great partnership, mate. For I think it was seven, just over seven years. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Top money is. Do you used to speak a lot on the pitch? Yeah, Going yeah, we, well. you know, we knew where he was. Yeah. We knew where he was, and uh, as you said before, you know, he, he, he was Liverpool, Liverpool, Tipton, and we couldn't understand each other, but we knew on the field where we was, and he yeah. knew how to flick it, on how to trap it, on how to pass it to him, and I mean, we just got on like a house on fire from day one. Because he gets forgotten sometimes, doesn't he? But he plays such an important yeah, part. Yeah, he does. We, we all did. You know, we weren't just about number nine there. It was number eight, ten, eleven. You know, yeah. th- whoever was on that sort and that pitch, mate, that was it, bang, and uh, we all stuck together. It was a great, uh, a great split and a great unit. Right, a bit of a recurring theme here, but here's you getting in another scrap. Look at okay. that. Okay, yes, another that. one again. Why is everyone a mindly nearly fighting? That's scandalous. Um, I can't think whether that's I don't, I don't even know who this is, unfortunately. There's no I, caption. I but. think it might be Jerry Taggart. Oh, Jerry yeah. Taggart, I think he does. Oh, the Jerry Taggart of Warship, I think Warship won number five, so I think it's Taggart. And uh, he must have gone through the back of me. I mean, I think I'm, I must have had a ball complaint to me like this, and also not. I was going to turn him and roll up straight under me. And I thought that's it, he's having it, and uh, he was more or less going, it weren't my fault. I went, yeah, right. But uh, we had some good battles, me and uh, me and, uh, me and Taggart and Walsh, we had some great battles. Great, honestly, I absolutely agree. I, lo- I loved going out in the field against Leicester or against Bolton. Yeah. Whoever the players played for, I loved going out there because I was going to have a great time. You got sent off for that these days, eh? You would have got sent off these days, raising your <coughs> arm, but uh, you know, I don't, I don't think I eat him. I don't, he was just like backing away and I pushed him. I was going to have thought, no, leave it alone. You want to get, you want to stay on for the team. Now, you've never been frightened of doing a photo shoot or two over the years, but I don't know, can you explain this one? Oh, jeez, look at that. <laughs> that is scandalous, by the way. Look at that. That's me in the middle. I can't even think what that is for. I've got Gary Bellamy, I've got Stowley, I've got Shane Wesley, Vino, Vino yeah. Ashley, oh, Tim there? Steele, I think. Yeah. Tim Steele, that one. Well, you've, got some, you've got some good lads there, to be fair. You're looking like you're getting into it there. I was, to be fair. And I, I ain't got a shape in me to fit anything. I can't dance, I can't dance myself out of a paper bag. But uh, I think it was a dance group that came to the, came to the ground, dancing right, theatre okay, yeah. group from the theatre. And they just says, will you uh, have a little bit of pose and a bit of a dance with them? And uh, we says, yeah, we'll do it. And... We was up for everything, anything then. I was going to, but you've never minded getting stuck in. No, you like don't mind. Like I say, being painted gold or yeah, yeah. dancing like this. You know, we, we enjoy. We absolutely, we absolutely love it. And that's a cracking picture, by the way. Cracking picture. I have to, I'll have to take that on the night of the dinner because some of the lads will go, "What? What is that? <laughs> that's absolutely brilliant." By the way, this is a nice one. This is just you in your England shirt. Yeah, there it is. I think that I think that you won't believe. You've even just picked it up from there. <coughs> it's the uh, under 21s in Albania. How oh, was it? Yeah, because that was one of the first pictures they have to do, uh, actually took of me. Look how yeah. young, look how young that is. Man. <laughs> that's a disgrace. Eh? That's a very, very long time ago. And Albania is as well. What a dodgy country that is. Yeah. Uh, but uh, now, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's a long time ago. That is, and uh, I think my boots are. Well, they're Nike then. I thought they were Nike, weren't they? Yeah, it looks Nike. Nike boots as well. So, but uh, no, good picture. Great start to me England career. That was under 21. In fact, there's a date on the back there. 14th of October. 89. Yeah. I think it was Albania, yeah. Because you were in and out, you switched between the seniors and under-21s for a little bit, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it was under-21s, uh, the seniors and England B. Yeah. You know I mean? So I had, a, I had a part in uh, all of them, to be fair, but my big part was in the, uh, in the main one, in the main, main team. Can you sum up your pride in, in, in wearing that England shirt? Oh, you can't. You know, I've said to people before, you know, I mean, uh, some of these players who have played before and they've got a dead leg or a bruise or a strain, a strain, I 
and they won't, they won't put an English shirt on. Yeah. Why? Yeah. You've got millions and millions of people wanting to watch it, you know what I mean? So I'd, you know, if I've got a bruise, I'll get the Irish on it two days before and after before, and I'd make sure I'm ready to play for England too all day long. Pinnacle of your career? It, it was, it was to be fair, you know, and to, and to top it off to play for the, in the World Cup as well. That was the, that was my, that was the, that was the absolute highlight of it. Here we go. So yeah, this is just a classic one of you celebrating. Yeah. Love scoring goals, didn't you? I did, to be fair. You know, I think that was after my celebration, because usually when I scored, finger is in the air, oh, yeah. off you go, and then when I run to the family, I jumped up and I'll, I'll give it that after. So that's, a, that's like an afterthought to me, my celebration, my finger. But uh, you know, I didn't know what to do when I scored. I didn't know what to roll over, fall over, backwards, do a backflip. And if I did a backflip, I'd pull me back out and all I would have done. But uh, you know, I'd just run to the fans, finger up in the air, you know, and then run to my, my parents and everybody else. And like, oh, yeah, there you go. And that, that's one of the pictures. So you never pre-rehearsed? You, you, you see not at all. Days, not at all. I, I saw, you know, I just, I just thought, well, one of these days, what, what I'm going to do for school, what do you do? I don't, you st just start running and you don't know what to do. And I just thought, put your finger in the air. And I put my finger in the air, but that was it. I just started, I was off, I was off and running, and it just, it just stuck for that. No better feeling, I imagine? No, no better feeling at all. You know, I know people going about certain things in life or whatever, but when you score a goal, it's absolutely tremendous. It's like the buzz in your body, it's like the feeling is absolutely unbelievable. Got one of you busting a gut here in training with uh, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Thomas. Jeff Thomas. Yeah, me and Jeff Thomas, Paul Darby in the background uh, with his old. Uh, I don't know what those little transit van or something like whatever it is, but uh, I think we've been uh, a bit injured. It looks as though I'd had a bit of a hamstring, oh, yeah, yeah. hamstring um, strain there, and I think they was doing that the match the day of the match to see whether they were fit to play. Right. Uh, the, the, in them days, they chuck you in, chuck you out, and go back on the field again. You know, whether they strapped up or not. But uh, I must have been fit that day because uh, I mean, me and Jeff were there with our, our face going, "Come on, we'll have a go." What was you like in training? Did you enjoy it? I, I, do, I didn't like to start with, you know, because it was one of them day in, day out, day in, day out. I think if I'd have carried on, uh, if I'd have knew later on in my career, I'd have enjoyed it even more. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, training was just like a slog. You had to get it done because you want you, you wanted to play on Saturday. That's all you wanted to do. Yeah. Saturday was the day. And you trained as hard as you played? Oh, you? yeah, that's all I did. Trained as hard as I could, as fast as I could, as best as I could. I'm ready for Saturday. Uh, right, here's one. That's one. Iconic one yeah. It's Man United. In the in the friendly at Molyneux, do you remember? Do you remember that game? Pre season, yeah, got Schmeichel in goal. I think we had uh, Pallister and Bruce. Yep, I think that's I right. I think Bruce is centre half, and uh, the ball came over. You know, I think there was loads of Man U fans there that day. It was a great, great atmosphere. Couldn't get me out when I thought if I could score against Man U, I'd score against anybody. Yeah. Because they're the top team, and I actually did. You know, I think Pallister just tried to get a foot in there, but he bounced the right side. Lobbed over Schmeichel and then I give it the finger and off I went again. It was yeah. a good, good game that was, I remember. Yeah, that. it was. Yeah, I think it was two one. We two one. So we, we did actually give him a game. They had all the all the all the all well, the top just players. The league, didn't they? Yeah. yeah, they were all the top players and ready to go. And uh, you know what I mean? You know I mean they didn't know any more. That could have come up, come and bought me, couldn't they? <laughs> you know what I mean? I scored against Schmeichel and Palister and Bruce. But uh, now it was a great, great, great start of the pre-season. That was and he set me up for the next season. Um, we've already mentioned him already, but this is a bit of a classic <laughs> as well. <laughs> Walsh, look at Walsh, look, there's me, look, look, he's just done me, he's just done me. <laughs> uh, no, you know, what I, mean, I think uh, we had some battles together, like I said before, you know, he wanted to win for Leicester, I wanted to win for Wolves and that was his full stop. Um, on that day, I think we'd, uh, that was just knocking the stand down when we come from the old porter cabins that day and um, I think uh, I, I went down that end, I did something against him, whatever, he went, right, that's it, I'm having you back, that's it. The ball came over the top, I clicked his heels, he fell over, I went onto the ball, he came running right behind me, he went bang, head butted me, and you could see by the, his reaction, he was like, huh? okay, I'm going, I'm off, I'm off. The referee just automatically sent him off, I got up and I went, yeah, I'm alright anyway, so, <laughs> and got up and uh, I think we won that day as well, I think I scored that day as well. You get on well with him though, don't you? Yeah, he's top draw, well, he's, uh, he's a good lad, you know, I mean, he uh, does a lot for charity as well, mm. and uh, he did for Leicester what I, for what I did for Wolves. Yeah. Um... I don't know what your memories of this one are, but this is the the, the, the then Prime Minister. Oh, I can't remember that. John, that I think you were at the Goodyear, Goodyear factory. Yeah, the Goodyear factory. Yeah, <coughs> look at that as well. You got Billy Wright there as well. Look, you got a squeaky face and uh, Graham Turn. I don't know this gentleman. He must have been a uh, managing director. But I think John. I don't know that John Major's a Chelsea fan. You know. Oh yeah. He might be a Chelsea fan. You have to find that out. Yeah. But uh, he came down to the Goodyears, and uh, you know, I was, I was representing uh, Wolves and, and Goodyears at the time to say, look at this. This is the building. It's got loads of people working for them now and stuff like that and whatever. And, I think he'd come down and just have a look at uh, what the population was doing in Wolverhampton. Another part of the job, isn't it? Meeting dignitaries. So it is. To be, it's a water off a duck's back, that is. A water off a duck's back. He's the Prime Minister. It right. is. Prime Minister Queen. Send, send him over. I'll see him. I'll sort him He out. was nervous meeting you, I bet. <laughs> I bet he was, to be fair. He looks a bit nervous there. You know, I mean, he thought I was going to bully elbow him or something <laughs> and say, that's it. But uh, yeah, he was, he was a nice man. He was a very nice man.
This is a classic. I don't, I don't know if we've got a year on this. Let's have a look. No, we haven't got a year, but it's certainly going to be eighties, isn't it? You looking through the old it is, uh, to be fair, dressing room window? I that think. can't be long from uh, from when I actually went to the when I actually went to the walls. You know, I mean, I was there. You I mean I think we got there? Is that you on the day you arrived? Or it, about it this? could be. <laughs> I think Graham says, uh, "Go and have a look around the ground." <laughs> It'll impress you. <laughs> Uh, I did actually, like I said in my book, I did actually lose Tom on. I was trying to find him. Uh, I couldn't find him now, but uh, that was it. It was, it, was, it was the way walls was in them days. You know, it was a rundown shack at the time. Mm. I mean, tiles falling off the wall and uh, the carpet soaking wet. There was cockroaches running all over the place. But we took it with a pinch of salt, me and Tom. We just looked at the ground and went, no, nah, we want to play football. And uh, from 1986 onwards, we never looked back. Nice gloves as well, by the way. Look at the glue, look at the jumper, Bilston Market, that was, that's glass, that kept me warm though, because it was a freezing day, I know that. There's no heating on there, neither, look, no heating. <laughs> Excellent. Injuries, you had plenty of them over the years, as you uh, yeah. maybe limping off there. Yeah, I think uh, Paul <coughs> Robbie probably saw most of them, you know, in uh, uh, early doors, you know, with the, uh, the, uh, the, the Achilles tendons, the, the hamstrings, you know, in the groins, you know, you go through everything because, you know, being a centre forward, you are the prime target of being kicked in the air. Uh, and I was quite a few times. That uh, I think these days I probably could have got another two years on my on my, on my, yeah. on my career. I think uh, with non-contact sport now. But uh, I love them days. I, I loved it. I I give as much as I got. I, I got you know. I, mean, I, yeah. know, I did, and I absolutely love them days. And but uh, when it's like that, it does hurt. It does hurt. I don't know what happened there, but it did hurt. Because otherwise you wouldn't have seen me like I had one eye open going. It didn't do it really, but it did hurt that day. But uh, now I didn't. You know, I wasn't such um, uh, an injury person myself. When I played, I got towards the end of my career. When, yeah. I, when, I, when I played, when I got a bit older and a bit slower. Do you think you maybe suffered for training as hard as you played and, and everything? And not no, really no, because you have to put a, put the groundwork in. Yeah. You have to put the groundwork in on training days, and when you're injured, you have to be in there twice a day, sometimes three times a day, seven days a week. You want to get yourself fit for that Saturday, mm -hmm. and whether you have to go through the pain, better you have to do it. Yeah, another one, here, another good mate of yours, Paul Cook. Yeah, Cookie, absolutely brilliant. Uh, you've you've got me there on that goal. I don't know that. Uh, that's Whittingham, Guy Whittingham on the right, myself, Cookie there. Uh, he must have passed the ball because he wouldn't. He would never come and congratulate me. Cookie wouldn't. <laughs> He'd always get me on the off while and pat me on. He said, "Well done, mate. Well done." But uh, he must have passed the ball. Uh, I can't you used to love playing with him, didn't you? Cookie? He was absolutely spot on. Cookie was. He got one of the best left foots I've ever, I've ever known on a, on a player. You know, I mean, he could swivel on a sixpence, and he'd know exactly where me and Muchu were on that field, and he could pick one of us out all day long. And uh, he was a great asset to the club when he was at the club. Brilliant. Cool.